Well, they're telling a story of a particular time on Tyneside between 1975 and 1977 when the last of the super tankers was built. And I didn't know at the time uh, that all was just going to end as quickly as it did. So it's like it's, it's an amazing piece, I think, of Tyneside recent history and the history of shipbuilding. I was very drawn to Walls End because of the proximity of, of housing to the shipyards, how they were just co-joined, how people who worked in the shipyards lived so close to the shipyards, and it was visually it was just an amazing place. Well, I'm most excited about the co-joined picture of the building of the Tyne Pride, because I'd never done that before, I'd never joined the two images together. They're actually taken on different days and from slightly different vantage points, one I'm closer to the river, one I'm fur further away. But seeing them here, the way this picture is, you get a real sense of how the ship's being made. And to see the scale of the men and the relationship to the ship, and you can see the welders, you can see another guy sitting at one point smoking a cigarette. And also, it's so strange now, these are the days before health, health and safety, that nobody's wearing a hard hat, nobody's got on special uh, shoes to protect their feet. And when you look at these, gap, these planks that are on, it might have been very easy to slip off them in the, because you're outside in the rain. So it just seems amazing compared to all the safety things that surround work now. In fact, they're all taken on plate cameras. That's a large, large negative. It was a four by five camera on a tripod, which is interesting because they, got, they contain so much detail. You know, so, so the, 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 there's very specific renditions of, of, of these things. And, and the plate camera with the big neg negative does it so well. Actually, I didn't. Um, it, did, it, it never arose because I was so distant from people and people were either passing, coming to or from work, or they were so far away from me. I was standing on a, a mid-time mid ferry landing, and they were in the shipyard. And sometimes people recognized me and shout and wave, but there was no, there was no you know, dialogue about what I was doing. And I didn't print a lot of these pictures at the time. I was you know, putting them away and saying, I'll do that later, I'll do that later. And I think I only ever printed four pictures from the series. You know, uh, uh, and never, never made them together as a group about shipbuilding on Tyneside. And it was only like thinking about it more, and looking back through my archive, I realised these are actually important in the sense that, they, that they're of Tyneside and Tyneside shipbuilding, and that I felt that they belong to Tyneside. So I was quite happy to give them to the Lang Gallery, so that they remain here. They're a part of the history of Tyneside, and they're part of the history of the people who worked in the shipyards. So for me, it's very important that the work comes here and stays here for the families of those people.